Hey, what up, guys? Coming to you this morning. Didn't do the weekend recap from Saturday, uh, November 21st. You had a couple cards on. It wasn't a lot of big time action, but uh, a couple decent uh, fights happened. So we'll get into those just real quick. Um, we'll start with the Facebook watch card that was uh, DAZN and Golden Boy uh, working together as uh, it saw Joseph Diaz Jr. against Jose Quadras, I think the guy's name was, or Jesus Quadras. Anyways, um, ended up being a lot tougher fight than expected. Diaz uh, did his thing, but um, this uh, Quadras kept coming forward and it ended up being a pretty decent fight and went to the scorecards where Diaz got a 10 round majority decision. So it actually was a lot closer than um, he expected it to be, but it looked like he was just overlooking his opponent is all it was, and I think that's exactly it as he's looking forward to a title shot, uh, hopefully against uh, Tevin Farmer. But we'll get into that when we do the what's next on Diaz. But, um, yeah, so that's what happened there. Not, not, nothing else really big happened on that card. We'll look at the uh, – next we're going to look at the other card that took place on Fox Sports 1. He had a couple fights we're talking about. Uh, my number 10 welterweight in the world, former world title challenger Thomas DeLorme. He surprised me, and he, uh, after he, almost a year off and a draw against Jesse Vargas last October, he went in and got a unanimous, 10-round unanimous decision over undefeated Terrell Williams, who was on the rise. He was, a, you know, a prospect on the rise. I thought Williams was going to outwork uh, Delorme, and Delorme proved he still has what it takes to compete at a high level in the uh, welterweight division as he outworked and... Um, outworked uh, Williams and got a 10 round unanimous decision so congrats to him uh, that keeps him in the top 10 and keeps him pushing forward so a uh, nice win for Delorme right there then in the main event you had um, uh, Peter Kitchock McQuillan against Alfredo Angulo and surprisingly Angulo got the win here I believe it was a 10 round split decision Quillen was trying to get himself back in line for possibly his last world title shot and to be honest i think that's kind of done now i think this was a crossroads fight between two faded uh former you know uh once thought to be good fighters um quillen was a former world champion angulo a world title challenger angulo maybe he's got another uh one last day in the sun uh type deal maybe he'll get in line and get a title shot real quick against caleb plant or somebody but um he got the win he outworked uh kid chocolate quillen and um yeah, so that pretty much was it on the weekend. Again, not a lot of big-time action, but um, there was some. And, you know, we keep talking about it because, it could, it, you know, it, all boxing impacts the sports. It impacts the sport. Uh, so, you know, uh, Joseph Diaz got the win on Facebook. And then he had uh, Kid Ch or Alfredo Angulo and um, the other one, uh, what's his name? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thomas DeLorme get victories on uh, Fox Sports 1. All right, guys, that was quick and easy, so uh, I'll talk to you guys later. True Boxing, been here with the truth.